Now right here, stop. Look in the top right corner, okay? It says easy mode. This hardly ever works. Hi, my name is Cindy and welcome to the Home Automation X channel. Thank you for watching. We have received a lot of comments in our videos about connecting smart switches and plus to the Smart Life app or Tuya app that it takes several attempts to get your device connected. The comments also mention the experience has been frustrating at times, which usually has led to a bad review on the products on the Amazon page. Well, I am here to show you how you can simplify that process and make it connect on the first attempt. Now, before I do that, I brought someone in with me who's enjoying life and she's gonna provide us with her experiences on connecting switches and smart plugs. Everyone, it's Grandma Hates Tech. And I have to ask you, Grandma, how was it for you to install the devices in the app? It was the worst experience I've ever had. Wow. Does it work? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. How would you feel if I were to help you? Oh, that would be great. <laughs> when you get a new switch or plug, the LED should flash quickly when you first power it up. If it doesn't, you can hold the button for about seven seconds. This will make it flash quickly. And when you install it in the app, it will never work. First thing you need to confirm is that your phone is connected to your 2.4 gigahertz network. You select the device you want to install. In my case, I will install this tech and smart plug that I was holding there. So in the Smart Life app, you click on the auto scan at the top beside the ad manually. Now this will never work. You can stay here until it times out, but I will cancel out of this and go back to add manually. In my case, I'm going to click on the socket Wi-Fi and verify that I'm connecting to my 2.4 gigahertz network. Now right here, stop. Look in the top right corner, okay? It says easy mode. This hardly ever works. Switch it to AP mode. Now this will work on your first try. Now hold the power button for seven seconds. The LED should flash quickly. Hold it down another seven seconds and you will see it flash slowly. This is the mode you want your device to be in. Now you go to click on the confirm the indicator is blinking slowly and then click go to connect at the bottom, which will bring you to your Wi-Fi settings. Look for the network that starts with the smart life with random numbers and then select that one. Go back to your Smart Life app and you will see it saying adding device. When it finishes, you can rename your device more appropriately and then select done. And there you have it. You can control your smart plug in the app. Now I'm back with Grandma from Grandma Hates Tech. And don't you think that was easy to install, Grandma? Not really. I had no idea what the hell you were saying. <laughs> well, Perhaps you could watch the video and uh, follow it step by step. Yes, I'll be waiting for it to come out. But in the meantime, let me show you a clip of one of my videos, which are not as boring. that was insightful and delightful, not snoring boring at all. So I would like to thank Grandma Hates Tech for stopping on by. <laughs> and please check out her channel in the description, subscribe to her, and we need her to get monetized so she can buy Linus's channel, isn't that right? Oh yes. Absolutely. So here's a five second clip to explain what I mean. Uh, Grandma Hates Tech says, how much would it cost if I buy your channel? Hey, how about, how about a million dollars? You got a million bucks? Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, you know, at, at me, at me on Twitter. Well, thank you for stopping by. You can see our latest videos right here on the side. Subscribe to see more. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to check out our website, homeautomationx.com. Thank you for watching.